Today we will perform an experiment based on chromatography. Now let us start with the first point is that is the spotting. So this is your Wattman filter paper number 1. This is beaker, a fine capillary tube and a pencil. So let us draw a horizontal line 4 cm from the base. Let us draw another line which is vertical from the center of the horizontal line which will divide the paper exactly into the two lines. The point where two lines they meet let us give this name O. Now the next is dip the fine capillary tube into a beaker containing a mixture of red and blue inks. The mixture will rise up due to capillary action. Now put a drop of mixture of red and blue ink by pressing gently. Let it dry Again, dip the fine capillary tube into a mixture and repeat the process that is spotting. And why is the process repeated? This process is repeated so that this spot should be enriched in concentration. But one precaution should be taken that is this point should not grow in size. Otherwise, the separation would not occur fine. The spotting is over. Next move to the next point, the setting of the apparatus. So, this is a gas jar, iron stand and hook. Suspend this filter paper strip into a gas jar containing water with the help of a hook. See that this spot should not dip in the water. Swains so you can see the water is rising up along with the red and blue ink. After some time, say after 10 minutes, when the water level has risen appreciably 15 to 20 centimeter, the two inks, blue and red, they will separate out at different heights. Ma'am, can we use any other solvent than distilled yes, water? Yes, students, definitely we can use other solvent like ethyl alcohol, ethanol or even we can use vinegar. Already 5 minutes have passed and you can see the solvent it is rising up along with the red and the blue inks. Yes. Now I will show you the expected result. Come close to me. This is the solvent front. Right? This part is called let us call it as a C and mark the level of the red ink from its center. Let us mark it as a A. Similarly mark the level of the blue ink from its center. Let us mark it as a B. Now measure the heights of the solvent front, blue ink, the red ink from the baseline that is called origin line. Now let us do the last part of an experiment that is the calculation of the RF values. Before we calculate the RF value of red and blue ink, what is RF? RF is called retention factor. And what does it depend upon? Yes, very good question. 
RF is equal to, why don't you write down? RF is equal to distance traveled by the component from the base divided by the distance traveled by the solvent from the origin line. Now students, before we conclude the experiments, again you can find out the solvent has risen up. Yes, okay? And the red and the blue ink, they have started separating out. Now, this paper, when we, the red and the blue inks, they have separated out. This is called chromatogram. Right? 